Plaintiff Jonathan Moore says he's a recovering crack addict who was using up until a month ago. Jonathan claims he's now in an inpatient recovery program and he's suing his stepson today for an illegal eviction. Defendant Corey Spragan says both Jonathan and his mother were drug addicts when he was growing up, so he practically raised himself. Corey allowed his mother and Jonathan to move in with him, but while there, his mother threatened his wife's life. Corey's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. I'm uh, Corey's stepfather, and we had problems that brought me here. But to by myself, I'm kind of a ex addict. Kind of. Yes. <laughs> I because I'm still using all the way up until last month, and now I'm in treatment. Good. You know, and where? In St. Cloud, Minnesota. Outpatient. Inpatient. They let me leave to come to. Okay. Come to the court. Good. And I return when I get back. Good. What type of addiction you struggling with? Crack, cocaine, and alcohol. How long? Since 84. I'm glad to hear you in uh, rehabilitation. That's a long addiction. Wish you well on your rehab and your recovery. Um, how have your stepson and the two of you gotten along over the years? Great, Your Honor. Really? How long has he been your stepson? It's 23 years. All right. You give me some background, sir. Um, Rick is, well, he's never been a father figure to me. Um, been known him for, like you said, 23 years. Um, he's been an addict the time I've known him. Um, married to my mother, she's been an addict since I was 10. Pr practically raised myself, so. How are you doing? Did you finish high school and uh, go beyond high school? Well, I'm a truck driver. Good. I'm All doing right. pretty good. Good. Yeah, I know you are. Truck drivers make plenty of money. Mm -hmm. You have children yourself, yes, you I say? Do. Five? Yes. Okay. All which, of them. How many with your wife? All well, of them. All of them? Yes, 25 good. years. Very proud and impressed. Thank you. I come from a household of crack addicts, mm -hmm. and you, from age 10, you're able to overcome it, become a successful truck driver, which, ladies, I don't know if y'all know, this, they make seventy, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 a year. I know. <laughs> and she says she know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. So. All right, why are you sorting, sir, for illegal eviction? Because uh, I, I was recently staying with Corey and his wife, and my wife and his, his wife got into altercation. And the altercation became unbearable. He asked his mom to move out, which uh, later he asked me to move out. And we, we moved out with only to understand that he was returning our money that weekend when he get paid. Returning what money? Returning the rent money. Okay. For what month? From March. The first month of March. All right. And when did you all leave? When did you, the final person you say she left first, then you? When did uh, you leave? The four, the third, March third. Let me hear from you, sir. I'll let you tell me what happened here. Um, about three weeks prior to this altercation happening, one day I'm at work. My wife is trying to rest. The kids are making noise. She called me, asked me to ask my mother to get the kids and watch them. My mother stayed in my basement, full finished basement, so not not mm -hmm. a raggedy thing. So um. Um, I call my mother, she okay, okay, I get the, get the kids. She end up coming up the stairs, cursing my wife out, feeling that she got me, worked me up to get her, get her to do that, you know what I'm saying? So, and that wasn't the case. And I was still on the phone when my mother was cursing my wife out, threatening her life, said she was gonna stab her. Yeah. Basically, her words is, come to me. You don't have to tell my son, you have anything to say to me, you tell it to me. I kill your you know what I'm saying? You don't know me. And cuss my kids out. You know. Is this true? Do your knowledge? Yes, sir. Okay. I know I I live with her. See? <laughs> <laughs> he said I might not have been there, but I live with her. So yes. <laughs> <he said>. <laughs> <laughs> like that. You're in recovery for real. First part of recovery is to be honest, right? Yes. It is to tell the truth. Tell me how the eviction occurred then. They were well, arguing, fussing, cursing, or she was cursing at your wife, yeah. then what? 
Well, basically, I just felt like, you know, I'm, that's my mother. You know, I don't want to kick out, but if there was anything less than the death threat, yeah, we could have worked it out. Okay. But I can't have you threatening my wife. So how long after that did you or that, your wife tell her or them they must leave? That day, that, okay. that moment. Okay. And your counterclaim for 2500 how do they owe you or he in particular? Well, basically, um, him and my mom called, like, my family back home. You know, in my hometown, telling everybody we on drugs. We're doing bad, you know. Um, How do you know that? Some of my family members told me that. And they don't live here. And, you know, they told me Did that. Your stepfather? Someone told you he said it? Yeah, him and my mother. Voicemail. Sir? Yeah, him and my mother. Yes. Voicemail. You said they were crackheads? No, you're on. Were on drugs? No, you're on. And Is I have, your I wife, have... to your knowledge? You better plead that fifth. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> 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 Speechless. All right. I have no knowledge. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's even better. Uh, <laughs> what evidence do you have, sir? Well, I, um, I, I did submit some. Um, well, I have a written statement for the, a witness written statement, um, and we submitted some voicemails. Um, that's a transcript, but I didn't. I don't want to submit it, but All right. we got some. Yeah. They have their voicemails. They have them In to the play. Audio. Yeah. All right, have them play them. I know you when you give my calls. I know you look at your phone, fix it for people, and you tell her to give me a call. Cause there ain't no true <laughs> going on through you owe me some money. Cause I take it out on my whole bunch of <laughs> Now if I got a cup, everybody go fuck. <laughs> you got time to say you wanna wanna buy these shit. And you pull out your solid head way. You can be bad as shit trying to save her and save your own and kill you. That's mama. Yeah, now, sir. I don't well, it don't make no sense. Now I got drunk, smoked, and shit you couldn't even say it's gonna fifty dollars, mama, it's gonna hundred. You got me up. I'm not playing about my I'm gonna tell your sister the same thing. Don't with me, I'm the boss now. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> this isn't the first time you met your mother, and we, we oh, no. know that she's oh, no. uh, a woman of uh, colorful lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> so, but the issue is whether. He participated in telling others, not the mother no, directly. She harassed you every day forever. So I need to know about him participating in telling it to someone else. Now, we, we know your mother is colorful, mm -hmm. as you as we heard and as you know, but sometimes stepdads are a little more reserved mm -hmm. about getting in between the relationship of a child and their mother. He didn't participate in this one. You put him out because he was with her. But I didn't hear anything that he did regarding uh, uh, cursing and going off on your wife and threatening your wife. So I'm going to dismiss your claim against him. And of course, sir, I'm going to dismiss your claim. Have a good day. That's my decision. Basically, like the judge said, I'm just going to be that innocent man. I've been there 23 years innocent. I can continue. You know, I love my um, um, it's just, it's, I don't know, I have mixed feelings right now, just coming here, doing all this. You know, you know me all these years, you know I'm a good dude, and you know, I, the, you know the judge didn't see me doing nothing wrong, you know I didn't do nothing wrong. So it's, just, it's, just, it's, it's just, you and mama, how y'all thing go, it's, it's crazy. I just, but I mean, my thing, you know I that. mean, it's like, I mean, I don't, don't want to deal with you right now, or, or I don't know when I want to deal with you. I might not want to deal with you, you know, this is, this crazy. It's whatever. Uh, I just feel like they're, um, he just wasted our time basically bringing us to court because we tried to help you and your wife. <laughs>